people. I well, haven't done enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like our amount of fuckery is low. We're ready to step it up. So, <laughs> hold on. Uh, I hope you have your uh, your uh, party panties on there, Lokar. <laughs> well, you know he doesn't wear panties. He just has a robe. Anyway. Oh, free balling! Got it! <laughs> He's like some kind of weird like lion butt. He doesn't can't wear panties. Well, you can have the they're doing, but <laughs> but yes, I mean, his lower you can quarters cut are a like hole a lion in the panties. Yeah, because there's tabaxi. Tabaxi wear 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 pants. But uh, <laughs> at any rate, uh, when we last left off, uh, you guys spent uh an evening making Molotov cocktails, uh, with ball bearings in them. Uh, Frock went around and started preaching Helm in Goblin Goblinoids. Uh, Irk even played a. L- the music along along some money <laughs> well this is a tame version of the conversation I was, I was involved in last night <laughs> anyway uh the next morning uh you guys had a hero's feast uh stocked up on some aid and got ready with your ball bearings and molotovs as you flew off on the back of a big blue dragon to the Church of the Union. You started off the combat by dropping various Molotovs and ball bearings on the main base of the Tarshan, which was all time, shining with a bright light, uh, even at noon, and throwing your Molotovs at various uh, sections of tentacles to burn up some of the plant life that was coming out of it. Uh, you descended th- through the the Tarstan's anti-magic field. Uh, but by the time you got down to the ground, it started shifting colors so that it could counter your other effects, such as uh, the flame that you were throwing out at it things. Um, after some rounds of combat, uh, you discovered that that Lokar was lurking nearby invisibly. Uh, but... Uh, Will managed to throw up a fire a fire shield and just like basically keep him from doing anything for a bit. Of course, the Tarstan did shift the color nearby the invisible Lokar to a nice uh, orange immune, given what you know about Tarstan's abilities. And now we're back up at the top of the order with Sylvie leading us on. So is gonna fly over to me. And when she's next to... Oh, god damn it. Meredith. Meredith. I knew it was with an M. I keep forgetting. Uh, <laughs> yell in the... Hit the crystal! It's your job with the damn crystal thingy. And she's gonna yell that at Meredith. Swing over to me. She kind of, like, mutters back in Draconic. Yeah, yeah. Are you providing the help action, Sylvie? No, because she's going to use her action to put... Okay, what's her action? Oh, are we flanking? We, 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 she already has advantage. Why does she oh, need... Oh, a good point. Yeah, we're technically speaking. flanking. That is, doesn't get advantage. We're, we're, and you said the swords have advantage against the thing yes, anyway. Yes, that's right. No, 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 sorry. I forgot for one second. So she doesn't need additional help. She actually attack oh, the thing. No, no, no. Yeah. She does. <laughs> <laughs> she needs double I she can't needs... stand behind needs... her and swing the blade for her. She I'm needs sorry. psychological help. That's what she needs. Yeah, oh, you, no. Do you want me to give her like the ghost treatment and like guide her hands? And... No, it's, yeah, a, it's, no, it's cool. Uh, what else is Sylvie doing? Making clay pots. What is Sylvie's action going to be? She, her action is going to be putting Frock on her back. Okay. She picked, she's action. picking up Frock, basically <clears throat> tossing him up in the air and letting him slide on her back at it. <laughs> yeah. Or something to that equivalent. Or maybe just, just head in between his legs so he slides back onto, her, uh, onto her, the saddle. <laughs> Sorry. So Meredith just like, grumbling, yeah, yeah, oh, and immediately just chopping at the thing with her ice blade again. That actually hits. Uh, I believe Meredith actually does have extra attack. D8? My blade only does 1d8. What the fuck? Her, sh- sh- her shitty chakram does more damage than I do. Uh, 
Ah, apparently so. God damn it. Ah, need better consistency on, on, on what. I'm throwing this blade away when we're done. It's useless. <laughs> I'm hucking it off the edge of the tower. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Phaedra just finished uh, killing one of the wormlings in front of her and then peered over her shoulder and saw a portal to a tear in the abyss forming and she kind of like, why? Like, <laughs> but then, uh, uh, mentioned on the recap. Yeah. Uh, uh, she'll uh, turn to Frock and say, "Good fucking job and good job, Bondo." And she's gonna um, go over here and she's gonna try to clear up some space for uh, those tentacles are. So she's gonna go right here and this tentacle, uh, three attacks. Oh fuck! I didn't open up her sheet. My bad. One second. So, magic is sunblade three times. Do all that to that tentacle, but <laughs> she's just clearing up room because, uh, yeah, she's just clearing up room. That's the only thing that she can really do right now. So, she chops this one. That's enough to kiss. Uh, are you within range of getting to the one that's in the darkness? I can't uh, see it to know it's there. I can't or see it. I can get to that one. She can go right there. Back. It's... Oh, sorry. Oh! Oh. Uh, yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, sorry, there we go. Sorry, Phaedra. Uh, no, you're fine. You're there, so you're Phaedra like, what? I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna put 20 in there just in case I need to re-roll for some reason. Uh, so that... that can you reach that one? Let's see. I was right here. So 5, 10, 15, 25. She can get right. Oh, no. She's not going to. She can. Um, she'll throw with the sun blade. I'm pretty sure. Um, what's her hand axe? Hold on one second. Uh, yeah. So that'll be. I can reroll the damage if you want. It'll be a little less. Um, uh, would it still have the same hit? The third one she can yeet. Yeah. How much less are we talking? It's a D7, D8. So you can minus two off of that if you want, or I can reroll. If it's minus two off of that, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That's enough to kill it. The, these tentacles okay, cool. are, are annoying because there's a lot of them, but they are hella weak. <laughs> They're easy to hit and have no, very fine. little hit points on themselves. Uh, and, yeah, so she's going to, um, yeah, because she doesn't understand Draconic, so she doesn't know what Sylvie said she, uh, to Meredith. Focus your, focus your energy on that, uh, on the main Tarsten. You have one of those weapons. We need you to keep heading it. And that's her turn. All right, Chiuri, you're up. Alrighty, so we're gonna as an action, I'm going to cast one of my vestures or my vesture of ice on myself. So let's see, I'll put it this in chat so that way you see it. Uh, we're gonna do it dumb. Oh, good. Yay. Yay. We'll dive through real quick. Alright, which means... And just because oh. you asked, Phaedra is facing that direction. So, that'll answer your question. <laughs> okay, so that means your resistance damage did not uh, immune to it. Which means, roll the damage of from your from your wall, please, uh, Will. Yes, uh, rechecking just to see. No, no, what? No, no, for like eight. Oh, I uh, it was 32 before. 32 was before. Uh, 5d8. Ah, 
Okay, right, 13. 13 damage, not, not bad. Too much. Uh, also check because uh, there's special condition to stay there as well. Yeah, I'm not going to be staying there. I have enough room to get out of it. All I right. just want to see what, know what I see. Yep. And your, de your devil sight just looks through darkness, right? Does it it's a true sight where you see? He failed his con yeah. save for oh, his yeah, invisibility that's right. last game. Oh, I forgot. Him. Sorry, I'd forgotten about that. <clears throat> Free or something. Yeah, yeah, he really is, shitty yeah, on his that's right. Tape. The only reason I had him sitting there was because with the fireball in place, you couldn't see him. Yeah, yeah he, he got a seven cool. and a six. Sorry, forgot about it. My bad. So yeah, you notice that he's he's there, looking calmer because he's now wreathed in the the orange light of the uh, of the crystal here. Does he see him. Well, my ten feet last bit movement. Move there. Uh, and we are going to bonus action exploit curse. By the way, that he uh, has uh, sparkles of both blue and pink crystals on him. It looks a bit different than the simulacrum did, as he has uh, more of blonde, uh, well, a blonde mane and everything like that instead of a pink one. But he does have crystals through him. Uh, so Hexblade's cursed. There we go. Yep. So you can start seeing his breath. And I'm going to do action surge and I'm going to hit him. Yay! Yay! Kill him! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Alright, so we're going to go... Where's my <sighs> buttons? Uh, activate Hexblade's curse. And then we go bop, bop. Uh, question. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting you. But did you roll a dexterity saving throw for the fire? I did not. No. I, roll that real quick. I didn't think I that, I don't think that, I didn't think that counts when you're going through the fire itself. Because you can't really dodge something you're actively going through. I thought it was only. I can put the spell up. I don't know. I don't know how People can jump through a bonfire, man. Well, you got a point. Uh, oh yeah, save. Big good trip. They could be like, oh shit, that's actually hot. Oh no, I'm inside of it. So you said deck save? Uh, the, a creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time or ends a turn there. So yeah, you, yeah, you, you do a deck save. You succeed. Okay, so it was 13, when... so it becomes a 6? Yep. Uh, minus 6. That's the only way I could do it to make sense <laughs> in my head. All right. Uh, the four points are necrotic on the end there. All right. So, yeah, oh, he like uses that. reaction to cast shield to protect himself against uh, one of your hits. I believe he takes that last one. So that's the first hit is twenty three damage. Am I reading that right? Uh, yes. Because oh. I have proficiency by damage. Only got one immunity, and that's to none of that damage. Well, two at the moment because of the fire thing, but he's got one natural. All right. Uh, mm. my, this guy's gonna, gonna have him move there for now, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right, Amunet. Oh, you ready for some bullshit? What's your target? Uh, uh first, first action. Uh, bonus action dash and she is going to since she is ghost walking and incorporal going to sink into the ground and she's going right here and pop back up negating the firewall fun and uh, point blank she's shooting Lokar 
Okay, so let's do this. Alright, that looks cool and all. But aren't you a rogue? Could you just walk through fire and not take damage? <laughs> Can I? She already made her choice. Technically, yes. You but you this is cooler. You, you, you get you this get you get the uh, you get the like damage reduction from the deck save, and then you could basically like shrug off, right? With the with that evasion thing. Evasion. Evasion. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to. This is cool, and I don't want to. This is cool. This is cool. You're just saying, you're so bro. Cool. You can walk through fire. <laughs> I want to do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Much cooler. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Oh, I need to mark that off. Okay. So. Um. Light crossbow. Sneak attack. Um, uh, yeah. Well, how'd he do there? Wow. <laughs> and then... Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Let me check the wording on this real quick for Whales from the Grave. I think I have to see... Oh, where is it? Sorry. Uh... Nope, that's all she can do. That's her turn. Alright, no other attacks for you? No, because I use a bonus action to dash. All right. To move 35. Reach is 20 feet. Okay, a Tarstan tentacle comes whipping out of the darkness towards you, Will. Does it have to um, make a wisdom save? Wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, that's thank right. You. I forgot. Bad. It's not a common thing for people to be attacked by plants. So that, that tentacle <laughs> tries to whip out and misses completely. Just imagine it whips out and like just stops like an intro and then it, it, it is back allowed, into the It darkness. is allowed to redirect its attack it, to something it, else within reach. Oh, so that's at Kelvin. <laughs> like I, I have to point it out. Okay. So I'm getting smacked on the butt for five points of damage. Ow. And another one comes whipping out <laughs> towards you, Will. Towards you, you kill. Fuck. This one smacks you in a more in, in, in a more forward place. If the other one smacked you on the butt, another one comes whipping out of the darkness towards Sylvie and misses completely. All right, that's it for the tentacles within reach. Uh, I don't think that one's in reach. Yeah. Plant attacks you, gives a stern look, but is it? <laughs> Fuck. Or do you not? <laughs> I will use my action to cast. That's the wrong sheet. Uh, da, 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 where is it? I will use my ask action to cast Circle of Power. Oh. So I need to give myself a radius. What is Circle of Power, please? Uh, everyone within 30 feet of me gets advantage on all saving throws against spells and spell like a. F oh, that's awesome. Uh, so how much? What's, what's your radius? So nice. And how long does it last? Thirty feet. Ten minutes. All right. So, thirty feet. I'll give you an aura of thirty. Uh... I have. It's done. I have it. Oh, cool. Yeah, but we it. can't see it. We oh. See it. Yeah, that's that's, oh, that's, that's what I was gonna do. Uh, I'll fix that so, okay. so, so, so everyone can see. Also, put put that little concentration uh, beep on you. So, yeah, Vondel, Urk, Kale, Meredith, Phaedra, all have all have this effect, and, and Sylvie, of course. I see the blip on myself. It basically gives them mm. evasion. Looks like at the end there. Yeah. Oh my god. The spell name save. lies. The spell name lies. It says circle, but in the de description, it's a sphere. How dare. <laughs> How dare. Circle, circle is part of a sphere. It lies. Mm -hmm. Circle, circle, that, that actually can. Wait. What's the radius? It's 30 foot radius, so isn't that a. 60 feet diameter. Oh, yeah. It is it is thirty feet huge. Okay, yeah. That's nice. It's okay. So you all get evasion. So okay. For more of just deck saves, it just says any from my magical effect. Yeah, that's a spell. I do have to de-click my what's it called shield of faith. Uh, 
but okay, not. It's only if you succeed and take half damage you take. Yeah, only okay. you, you don't it's... get half damage if you fail. But still, like if you have an advantage, yeah, there's a decent shot That's to make good, it. Good, good spell, holy fuck. It also lasts for like ten minutes. Yeah, so. which is better yeah, than a lot. No, that's, uh... <laughs> which means whole battle plus you know plus if any collateral battles you t you, you need. So, Vondel, mm -hmm. you're up. Well, I can't really reach anything of importance, so you can reach the Tarsen itself. I mean, yeah, but we've sort of established that it's not really efficient to hit the Tarsen without a specific weapon. Yeah, I guess that's true. Grab Urk and hit Urk with hit him with, hit it with Urk. <laughs> I'm gonna run up here. That's how that works, right? <laughs> yes. He's and... holding the weapon, so therefore you are. I'm gonna attack this. Okay. Because I want to do something. Uh... Meh. All right. You smack it twice more, and you see more and more cracks until finally it collapses. Alright, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to bamf back to my starting point. I love that. So you that's my turn. <laughs> the ancient blue dragon continues to circle around, around the lower ends, and occasionally you're hearing the sound of electrical discharge and some screams. <laughs> Kale, you're up. All right, so I guess I get to use strength again since uh, that Matt, I'm still wearing my pendant and the uh, words. Uh, let me make sure it fixed that because it kind of. I think I fixed it to that. Yeah, there we go. And if it hits, that hits. And, uh, Remember, you also, ooh, get you also get advantage on these to see if you get like a um, critical hit or anything. Oh, uh, I'll just roll a d20 plus five. Well, no, because it's more than that. It's roll a one d20 plus. This roll a one d20 to oh, see what? if you get a, a nat twenty because you've already hit it. <laughs> yeah, I got three. <laughs> anything else you want to do? <clears throat> That is all I can do, because I am not a melee character, thank you. Okay. Look at it screaming with, with with fury uh, behind the uh, the flaming wall, which obstructs him from view from everybody except for Shiori and uh, and Amunet. And he grins evilly. A spell surges. I mean, is he in the wall? Uh, he's behind the firewall, which means you guys can't see him. Only Amunet and Shiori. Yeah, but he can't see us. Yeah, I know. He's he doesn't us. he's not caring right now. He is looking at Shiori and Amunet, and he's casting something that affects them. How? Meteor swarm. Is it right next to him? Yep. He doesn't. But how can he see them? Because they well, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, yeah, sorry. Well, I'm the going. fire won't hurt him, but the bludgeoning will. He says is uh, clearly not caring about his own safety and just comes bringing down spells from the air as you basically see the spell charging in the air above your heads and light <clears throat> and suddenly big meteor rocks come flooding down at you. No, dude. I can completely. Yeah, yeah. she did. She did. I didn't. <clears throat> uh, can't you? No. Does your ice like, uh, block some of the fire, Shuri? Can't you turn into like a block of ice? Isn't that an yeah, sure, sure, She basically takes half of the fire damage and I think all of the bludgeoning damage. Uh, so, so somehow the uh, the rogue manages to avoid everything. Probably turning a bit ethereal at the time, given her uh, her, her 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 walking. 
And while the fire damage doesn't affect Lothcar at all, he does take the bludgeoning damage. And just seems to be laughing throughout it. <laughs> like an ins the insane creature he is. <laughs> I said don't. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Your little rebel. I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> Roll twenty. You don't know how links work. You know, I think that the, given the it's, it, it's looking, I think him, it's looking at my spell list uh, to try to post it. Hey guys, if I don't have it. It won't. Guys, uh, that's a forty foot radius sphere, and he centered it on himself. I think that also hits some other some of the people in this room. Mm. Um. Yeah. It also comes. Uh... It also hits the Tarsen. It also hits the Tarsen, but which yep. would take the bludgeoning at least. Uh... What's that? A deck save? Well, actually, he would probably do it like normal. right about here, just out, just barely outside the range of the Tarsen, which would still hit Vondel. Uh, it may or may not hit Eric and yeah, actually, yeah, he would he would have found it, focused it right on them, not on himself. So that would have been actually coming from here, which I think just barely misses the Tarsen. But it might clip off the the two crystal things on the sides. Yeah, it'll get the two crystals. It'll get that. It'll get that. It'll get that. Yeah. Don't forget, you guys have advantage on your saving throw. Oh yeah. So will Vondel and you take no damage if you make it. Yeah. So these two collaterals get chipped off. So does this one. And Oof. after the fire effects are links off after that, and of course this tentacle. Funnel, can you make I mean, I'm not going to make a deck save for shit, so what do I take? All uh, of it? Yep. Six, uh, ooh, 66 plus 85. Ugh. 151. Ooh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> uh, you know, Will is going down, probably. Will is going down. Actually, well, there goes the firewall. Yeah. Oh, that um, would hit, even with that, that would that? hit the Tarsen. I have to use absorb elements to dampen the damage. A bit of the even then, it the... doesn't damage. Well, the fire damage. Another, cr another small crack that's formed in the tar st stun from the back, and it. Pretty funny, but yeah, I know. About this. Well, upper. To absorb, delete, and will can remove that. You know, I'm turning around and saying "fuck you" and just blasting him. Yeah. Oh, uh, he, he's. Well, he's also upset the tar. That, that he actually did manage to damage the tar stun. I, I rechecked my figures on that. Nope. Nope. That still damages the Tarsen. Doesn't do a lot of damage to the Tarsen compared to the rest of you, but it still causes some shattering damage. So you see some more cracks right in the in the surface of it. And it took out a bunch of little pieces of the Tarsen. In fact, all of the, the, the tendrils of plants around here seem to be suffering oh. and dying off. And you, you hear a voice shouting something in a language coming from this direction. In fact, actually, now that the, the wall has gone down... Uh, you do see a, an image. Uh, you do see a figure standing over here. What language? Uh, it's uh, Portuguese. Whatever the that's the, the ancient uh, language that you have a tra that you have a translator for. I believe Phil has it. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, Phaedra but it's has. I. I would under well, no. Phaedra has it. Uh, Phaedra, roll, roll <clears> and uh, it's only like ten feet. Yeah, you're too far away to basically hear it. I think roll perception check for me, Phaedra. Passive 25? Yeah, you're basically still just shouting, shouting and probably the interpretation is something like you steep something along those lines. It's it's hard to tell. Just the, 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 the tone of voice makes one think. It comes to mind such such a, a shout. Like, she is not happy that he did that. <laughs> Female. Okay. Got it. Will. Uh, Yay! I get to roll a death saving throw. It's been a while. Where do I do that? Uh, uh, it's underneath oh, your. Uh, there it is. Uh, it has a button of its own. Of, of its own. Yeah. You got. for a second there, for is that a constitution? <laughs> I haven't done this in such a long time. 
Yeah. It's a hit or miss. It's a plus, it's a ten or a, tw a ten or above is it's fifty fifty. Natural one. Natural one. No. <laughs> hey, that's, that's ten. Woo. Oh. You're taking Fuck. down Gail Cole. Come on. <laughs> oh. Irk. Yes. Uh. Uh. Oh yes. wait, Irk. Did you did you roll for for your did, did you take the di yes I did. Uh, uh, I which didn't you take, take any damage because I you have don't evasion. remember what the damage was. Wait, do you have evasion? Yeah, the spell. Yes, I do. So I don't actually take power. any damage, right? He's in the aura. Yeah, he's in the circle of power, so he succeeded thing. Therefore, oh, no wait, damage. I'm in, I'm in the circle of power. Does that mean you I took to... it? Or I had to succeed? Okay. Succeed I did not. Really. Yeah. But you did get advantage. You, have, you advantage have advantage if you didn't roll. Yeah, well. I got a nine and a four. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. If, oh. if I had rolled one number higher, I could have taken no damage. Guys, how many times I had to tell you I'm not a melee character? I shouldn't be here. <laughs> here, have a uh, stick. Now go get them. <laughs> Somebody you can... you an arc. <laughs> Uh, is Will alive? No, he's, no. He, he's laying on the ground, charred, uh, bludgeoned, but you can see a little bit of gurgling Hold breath. <laughs> Let me just make sure that I'm getting this right. Uh, yeah, I can, I can do that. You know what? Uh, to, um... To, well, I'm going to use healing. Should I use healing? Or uh, should I just focus on the crystal? Uh, you can do both. You can do a melee and healing word will at the same time because it's a bonus action to. Yeah, as long as he's not, yeah. as long as you're not raging. Yeah, I'm not raging at the moment. Do it at level five, so I can use up a level five spell slot. I ain't gonna use the level six just yet, but there you go. So, Will, you heal for 15. Oh. So there's a little bit of healing for you. So that means you're not fully dead. Uh, does that my... Yeah, three sets. Yep. Okay. And oh. then I... Actually, yes. Lightning blade on the crystal. All right. Which, if I remember correctly, I get... Uh, Advantage and it twice. Wait, what? You can attack uh, no, twice. That was... can Don't you? Twice? You have, yeah, attack. Attack. Yes, you, you have extra attack, so you yeah. attack yeah. twice. Yeah. You can attack yeah. again. Right. And release five levels extra attack. Slap. <clears throat> slap and slap. That's though. Shit. And tink tink. And yeah, that means my turn. <laughs> All right. So, the uh, the tabaxi the woman, woman who seems to be draped in, in in plant tendrils all over the place kind of glares as she co she comes in, in into the doorway here. Um, and is just staring with contempt at all of you. Well, actually, she's not even standing. Like, she is, whenever she a cat and enter a enter door room. She, she is hovering in the air. And she just kind of looks at all of you. Uh, po po let's see. Points her hand over towards the direction of Vondel and Urk. And casts reverse gravity. Unless someone can counter that. They have advantage, they should be fine. Isn't that a saving? The DC is 13. Saving mm. throw. Yeah, with advantage, I doubt they fail. <clears throat> I forgot our spell save DC was so small. Was that's so a so small. 50 foot radius. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 50 foot radius. Yep. I got spider time, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm on a flying creature. I don't care. Where is she casting it? She's casting in the direction of Vondel like, and Urk, and I think that 
covers a good chunk. Hold on, I am. I, it's I, the yeah, whole platform. To, yeah, you need to. Yeah. Place it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to find some. Let me fifty foot radius. <laughs> it's the whole platform. That is can literally we, the whole platform. Just it is. Yeah. Yeah. It it even goes up back to her. Yeah, the crystals and tentacles are all like adhered to the ground, so they don't get touched by it. Yeah, she gets hit yes, by it too. She, she gets hit. Oh, uh, she's it. flying. She doesn't care. Uh, what about the wizard? What the about the wizard? Also has yeah. yeah this the fucker. <laughs> the, 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 but he's not the using them at the moment. He's not using them right now. Yeah. Omnet is ghost walking, so I feel like she needs to make this save. I she don't is think floating it... off the ground. Here's the, here's the thing, though. What it doesn't matter if you're flying. Gravity is gravity. Yeah. True. That's true. You go up until you hit the ceiling, and then you fall. I mean, it should it should involve her involve her as well. Well, that means it would also involve Urk. Uh, not Urk. Sorry. Uh, uh, Sylvie and Frock. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can fall so, upwards yeah, towards so, nothing. So, I, uh, first well, you go up a hundred feet and then you fall. I mean, if I fall, I don't fall, so yeah, I don't doesn't. So, well, basically, what I want to know, Frock, is can you hold on to Sil? Uh, the first, I need to see Sylvie is holding in place or not, and then I have to see if you're holding on to Sylvie okay. or if you fall out out, out okay. of her out of her saddle. That's basically That's what I need. Fine. Well, do it. Yep. Oh, so, strength. It's a strength check, right? Oh, no, on a deck save. The deck save. Yeah, yeah she has Meredith advantage. has an advantage. Yeah, basically you're trying to grab... Oh, on. yeah, everyone has advantage. You're, gra you're grabbing on... To oh, she has advantage. Uh, you're basically trying Silky's to grab fine. onto her, uh, under her saddle. And she's digging her nail into the ground. I'm fine. Okay, also, the I mean, deck is, the, is the spell save DC accurate? Yeah, is that spell save mm -hmm. accurate? Let me check on that. Because that it seems really rather low. low. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not Especially complaining. Since she has legendary action. Oh, that's right. D doesn't Lokar does Loka have legendary actions? Yeah. I oh, that's right. Yeah, legendary actions. They keep forgetting to use. Really do yeah. I forgot about their legend. Their freaking legendary. I use them on you guys yet? Oh no. Her her spell save DC is 18. It got messed up. Her spell okay. save DC. Ah, uh, beat it. Need to reroll. Pedro. Uh... Which means Meredith's flying away. I okay, think so I'm 15, and then was... what's note of potential? Uh, I can know. use it on saves, right? Yeah. I think it's a what's D8. your D8? I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, it doesn't matter. Phaedra's going. You gain one temp HP plus his charisma modifier. <laughs> what's your charisma modifier, Brock? I mean, uh, Urk. Yeah, she would. She would actually have been uh, putting. She, she, by the she way, goes up, but she doesn't no, fall. No, no, no. By the way, uh, if given that information, she would actually have been throwing it right down over here next to Frock, Sylvie, and Ark, which is just basically anything in this area. Not nothing in the, and nothing in the hallways would would float up. And the dexterity saving throw is to grab onto something to not fall up. Correct. So if I'm taking it on to Sylvie, Sylvie is basically gr grinding her claws into the, uh, <coughs> into the, sure. the ground. Of, yeah. Of the Do s Meredith Fader, uh, away yeah. and just not floating. Does Shiori and uh, Almanet need to make it? Where is this thing being No, passed? that's that what I said. Shiori, it's, it's, I, I, we measured it. It's basically everything that's in this hexagon. Nothing in the hallways. Okay, cool. So, so Notra and Lucar, Aminet and Shiri are all outside the range. And then we're doing the what? One zero zero. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Clinging, clinging to what's now the ceiling for him. Oh, he does not even cling. He's just standing there. Yeah, but his hair—he's got spider climb. He your, doesn't your, have to cling. Your, your hair's floating though. <laughs> yeah, and the ball bearings are starting to fly up as well from the ground because <laughs> they're not tethered. 
Yeah. So there's a potential that when they fall, they might land on things useful to you, or might land on you over the edge. I'm curious if I would have made the deck save. No, my deck save is garbage. <clears throat> Will is hanging on to some, I don't know, crystals on the ground that are I, I imagine embedded. it's like what's left of like some of the plant life there. So the stuff yeah. that doesn't otherwise move around. So, question. Will was knocked down, prone, this happens, uh, and said, now he's basically but... holding on to the ceiling. Is he prone or not prone? You're, you're st still quote-unquote prone, but you're gripped on to something. Okay. Uh, Phaedra, did you roll with advantage? Yep. Okay. Ooh. No, no. If you if you were heavy, you'd be floating up towards a hundred feet away, Dirk. So, uh, after Nurture's turn, Lokar is going to use a, a legendary action and is casting a spell. Um, and the, it'll be out here enough that it won't hit him, but no, it'll hit... he's not. All right, use your reaction to cast counter spell. Yeah. Oh. Okay. A uh, third level, so I don't know if I need to make a save. You don't. It's third level spell because that that that's what he can do with legendary action. Third level spell. Uh, let's see the Tarston. Ah, keep getting that. Some of the cracks on the Tarston begin to heal. Uh, that's fun. Oh, so no, no, sorry, I forgot, gone. I forgot. Uh, that's right, they get hit with the legendary weapons, sorry. It, it's starting to heal, and then the, the, the crystal bits kind of, like, fall out of the holes again that you've been hooding into it. I knew there was a, there was a reason You also have it. the lair actions, too. It, yeah, it, but it's, the lair actions are kind of useless at the moment. Basically, uh, if you guys had, 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 if it, if it had had more warning that you guys were coming... It would have had more layer reactions to play around with. But you guys came on it suddenly and it didn't gather up any forces to turn into eggs. And therefore ha hatch more, um, more worms than did last time. So, Sylvie, you're up again. She's gonna fly over here and she's gonna bite the hell out of her. Do I? Have Paralyzing Brether. That has a DC of like twelve. Ah, uh. <laughs> like it's got a DC of like no. <laughs> ah, make, make a waste for lair actions. No. Oh. <laughs> we need the uh, hex on there or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's sixteen. I mean, she doesn't seem like a beefy type, so that. Uh, it, you're, but, um... you're, you're, you're. As soon as you try to bite in, you discover she is wearing armor. <laughs> she is a cleric. Oh. Okay. And she, I'll smite her later, she grins yeah. evilly at, at you. Smite her later. Some, some of the tentacles come out and on her turn. Her legend, one of her legendary actions is a uh, vine grab. Uh, I'm going to use. What she, she must snark at me. Yep, that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to grab you off off the back of, of Sylvie. So there's a uh, vine lash. I'm going to use the vine whip attack, but. Basically, if it lands, it grabs you instead of causing any damage. So there's no damage from this oh, okay. if, it, if it hits you. Okay. Nope. 19? Okay. So basically, a tentacle comes whipping out. One of, the, one of the plant tentacles that c clinging to her comes whipping out. It just kind of grabs, tries to grab around you, but fails. Yeah. Meredith is kind of floating in the air and going, ah, I wasn't expecting this. This is not going to be good when we fall. She looks over to towards you and then looks at her blade and like, huh. Damn it. It's just out of reach. So she kind of 
grips her claws together to see what uh, Frock is going through. And let's see. What's, oh, she, no. She thinks for a moment, uh, looks over at uh, Phaedra, and uh, says, All right, um, I think I can get us out of here. She is going to cast uh, a polymorph on herself. I'm trying to remember if she can use it to turn it into a flying creature. It has to be under a certain yeah, CR level, to... and it has to be a beast. Yeah. You can do flying. It just has to be a certain, like, depending on the level of spell you cast it as. Yeah, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find that list right here. Hold on. Ah, target's level if it doesn't have it uh, equal to or less the target's level. Okay, that's easy. Yeah. So. You, so yeah, anything I up to the CRs. She, yeah. So basically, she turns into a silver dragon, just like Sylvie, and fly. It's not a beast. She is not a beast. It, it has to be a beast. A dragon is not a beast. Oh yes. And true polymorph. It has to be a beast. All right. <clears throat> Yeah. Believe me, I have like combed the the. I think the best you can have on or something for if you want a flying thing. Yeah, I need something Giant flying. Like... To go? Oh, right. I think that's higher. Yeah, Pterodactyl's higher. Uh, Giant. Yeah. I mean, no. She's not interested in, in like you know battling with this form. She's just interested in something that can grab Phaedra and, and save her. And, yeah, and survive. Uh, uh, Survival, survival rot wise, giant eagles get down in one hit. Yes, but it's fine. Let's see. Well, uh, she my, just my, needs to get my out words of there. Is I don't think she's ever right. seen a pterodon, but she has seen a giant eagle. So no, no. Uh, let's see. All right, so she turns into a giant eagle and grabs. It grabs Phaedra, assuming that Phaedra consents to being grabbed. Wow, there are oh, no yeah. beasts higher than like, level like eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. Oh god. Mm. <sighs> so, yeah. So she, she's now carrying Phaedra uh, and starts carrying... Is she going to move? Yeah, that she, like remember, you guys are still up, and so she's she's moving she's moving this way. She's away from combat. Oh, away anything that might fire at that. Basically, trying to get you guys out of the range of the spell and. Uh... I need I to just, destroy the crystal. I just remembered that something. Logical. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. I forgot to roll constitution a con check on. The she didn't get hit though. Yeah, she didn't get hit. She... Oh, that's right, she didn't. I tried to bite her, but my nothing bad. Happened. Sorry, for some reason my brain is getting. No, no, no. She's only moving you guys out, uh, out there and trying to lower down a bit so that she doesn't get because she you can't, she can't move a hundred feet back up and this with the reverse gravity still in effect. It's not like um, you can st stand in there. So she's basically moving down. Uh, let's see, how many feet can she move? Uh, 80 feet. So she, you're down to 20 feet. So you can put yourself at 20 feet down, Phaedra. I'm so just... just... Because she's flying upside down. Yeah, she's flying, flying upside down. <laughs> did, did, I I had... <sighs> Question. Yeah, so she went from... Over here? Yeah, which actually means then probably flew. like 50, 50 feet. Sorry. Yeah, no, and then I'm just... Uh, like, she's still in the radius of it. Yeah, and she is, right. but she's lesser out of the radius of Okar and Notra would be doing necessarily. Because, uh, and if, uh, if the anti-gravity fan Phaedra falls, it's less, of a, it's less damage. So it's basically trying to protect Phaedra at the moment. That's all that we're caring about. <coughs> also, 50 feet down means that Phaedra can throw things at various other things. Okay. Phaedra, you're up. Meredith choice. <laughs> Can't 
throw anything, so we're gonna have to do spells. Uh, what's what's um, what's your distance on throwing? Twenty. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's why I was like, you're flying away from battle. <laughs> <laughs> <It was crazy. laughs> we were vulnerable. No, I understand. No, hmm. I was just vocalizing. That's why I'm like, I can't throw anything. I, I would even grab my player's handbook to see like what the range was on like a trident or like a spear. She might be able to turn like the lightsaber into, but yeah, no. Hmm. Um, okay. So let's see. So 50, so she can do 70 for Eldritch Blast. How far? I need to zoom out. God damn it. Let's go. Okay. So they're too far. Um, yeah she'll go for uh to help because this thing can is in range of and she can't see the other two that are in darkness um yes um uh yeah eldritch blast three things All right. Uh, can you do anything bonus action, Figura? Um, I don't feel like you can. Uh... Hmm. Actually, yeah, she's gonna. What's the time on this? Uh, is it a minute? on the uh, gravity spell 10 minutes perfect bonus action not gonna move because she's kind of fucked but she's casting expeditious retreat on herself for whenever okay whenever so yeah that's her turn shiori so one's floating upwards right now uh no you you basically saw oh. meredith Turn into an eagle and, and scoop your, your wife up to safety. What you're telling me is that no one floats up here. No. <laughs> Bonus action, I'm going to use... Down the wind. float. No power, so... Alright, I'm at 40 HP. Hooray. Action. Hmm. This is going to require a charisma check, because I... I believe this is higher level than fifth. On the area effect. It's seventh level. Yep. So let's make a charisma check. And hope I can do it. Don't know what you have to beat. That's a fourteen out of I I I had to beat the again we get to have the spell save DC is actually eighteen. It just displays wrong on this. Oh yeah, but uh, it's, it, that it's doesn't ten. matter for the spelling. Yeah, no, it's ten versus spell level. Ah, yeah, just seven. Yeah, so no. So, okay. is there a check for the eagle to have to hold on to Phaedra? Mm, uh, don't so. think so. Okay. I didn't know. As I don't know. <laughs> as long as it's consensual, the eagle can hold on to you. Since you consented to being picked up, the eagle just picked you up. Yep. Uh, right, I'm also not caught on that because... Well, I had the wrong before, but I doubt I can beat the fucking DC with a natural 20. I do not, so I did not stick on that save. So I don't have a vesture either. You don't have... Uh, that's all I got. That's my action bonus action. All right. Aminet. Yeah, fuck this guy in front of me. Um, yeah, uh huh. Bonus action, take aim, advantage, sharpshooter, sneak attack. And she's just going point blank. 
Oh, natural oh. one. <laughs> nope. you, you're you you're crossbow. You? You get, you're spring. Oh, your crossbow. I get advantage. No, 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 no. Stop. I get advantage. <laughs> one second. Right, you're Oh, wow. I'll roll the. Yeah. Yep. 24. Yeah. So take you always the, take the, first damage, yeah, so that's so sixty four. First damage. Ooh. Oh, oh. He looked really hurt with the the, the arrow just basically me. sticking out of his chest, blood going going everywhere into his robes and dripping onto the ground. Amanet takes a finger. Uh, actually, no, she's not going to do that. I was going to do something for flavor, but I have a feeling that's going to be bad. So never mind. <laughs> Fucking 64 damage. Holy shite. Mm -hmm. Is your turn over? That's your turn. Alright. Yep. Uh, so he is going to um, then use one of his legendary actions uh, to uh, Oh wait, hold on. Them. What? Nope, never mind. Alright. So he is going to cast a uh, Thunder Wave at third level to try to push you guys back. Con save. Uh, I feel like I have advantage on con saves. Right now you do, because you're over okay, the I don't know why that You have advantage well, because I exist. Has their, I have a tool pretty good too. That gives me advantage. Your existence gives you advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I don't know why the Thunderway has that commentary on it, but that. I feel like that's a fail. Yeah. So you both get. Pushed. Oh wait. What? Uh, I have a D8 note of potential. Wait, what's the DC on this? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. Mm, well, I mean, I might as well use it. Okay. Twenty. Twenty two. Sorry. All right. So. So meet it. Beat it. Yeah, which means you take uh, you take half the damage. No, you take nothing because of my aura. Oh, uh, but whoever, whoever failed on that, you take the damage and go back ten feet. Yeah. Right, so I go here and I take what was it fourteen? Yeah. Fourteen's fine. That's nothing. Uh, Shuri, a tentacle comes whipping out of the dark uh, the darkness at you. Okay. Nope. That misses. <laughs> Another tentacle comes whipping out at Kale. Oops. Uh, fuck. Never mind. I can't do anything. You okay, Kale? Turtle, you made it. There we go. Uh, I exploded to a fine red mist and Rico at last. Uh, on hit point, everything around me is an ally, not an ally. 22 necro damage. Oh, no. Within how far away? Within just the five feet? Or... Uh, within ten feet of within ten feet of me. Oh, thirty feet of me. Everything within oh, thirty feet nice. of me. Okay, that tentacle so... is dead. <laughs> and so, so did, did Kale bunch... die? I did. I have yeah. one hit point. Okay. And a, a bunch of these crystals get little shots that you notice. Uh, I also have one level of exhaustion, which gives me dis disadvantage on ability checks. I can hit you with a dual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I need Carson to itself a... seems to have taken some damage. Uh, one d four long rest. He looks nauseated by what just happened because he's had to deal with that before. 
And Irk now has a fine mist of blood on him, possibly? Or no? No, he re he re coalesced. He basically exploded into, like, a fine red mist, like, sort of like a vampire would do when they turn into, like, the mist when you kill them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, exploded chaotic energy and then re coalesced. <laughs> yeah, Irk kind of did that. <laughs> it was temporarily on Irk. <laughs> but it's off Irk now. <laughs> no, it's off Irk now. I'm back in Kale. Irk was red right for a moment, and then he was. <laughs> That is awesome. Erky, we're in a cloud of blood. <laughs> and, then, and then get the cloud of blood peeled itself off of you. <laughs> I'm gonna hit your, the lady. your friend exploded into cloud of blood and covered your entire body. And yes, you would have tasted uh, it for a moment before it put back together. Mm. Uh, I get advantage because I'm healthy. Uh, where's the thing? Uh, I'll put a smite on that. Yeah, are you sure? I wanted to, do f I wanted to do a higher level smite, but I'm not because you might show up later. So let's just do a second it. level smite. Do we want to do Fury of the Small? <laughs> I have a second attack. We'll see. I don't see a place to take <sighs> off exhaustion on the sheet. Whatever um, it isn't, I think. Let's see. I don't think we can do it on. The that's a lot. Mm -mm. Uh, 19. Oh, wait, hold on. 20. Oh, no, no, there is. We had it at, yeah, we had it when we were in hell. I have it still on. Yeah, oh, do you the, have to turn it on? Yeah, it's, it's on the cockwig. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, far right box near the bottom above the track, hit dice per class. Oh, there it is. Okie dokie, awesome. That one. So that's 48 damage total? Uh, yeah. All right. Radiant is in there as well, if that matters. I don't know if it does. Yeah, it does. I was just double check. I was double checking something on her sheet and going, okay, yeah, it's just that that she's immune to, not that. <laughs> uh, she also needs to make a you... conte for her spells. Yes, because you do notice she does have some whitish crystal bumps on her, along with green. Amid the 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 um, the plants, because you're up close and t personal with her. Yeah. Uh, so there goes the that, spell. Yeah, that fails. So suddenly your hair falls flat again, Kale. And the eagle does a little maneuver and flips around so that you're doing that. And you no longer feel like you have to hold on to Sylvie, Frack. Second attack. Uh. 30? Can I do two smites? Frack, frack, question. Why do you... Because I'm on Sophie and I have mountain to combat. Ah. Oh, sweet. It gives me okay. advantage if I'm using a mount. All right, I was just double checking on that. Uh, Thank you. That so, is... yeah. Uh, da -da -da. How, how healthy is she looking? Uh, she looks okay. Like, you you notice that like, there's a tentacle, uh, a, a plant tentacle that's now down on the ground. But other than that, she looks okay. Okay, let's take this serious then. Third level Divine Smite, Fear of the Small. Um, think that's all the dice I want to add. Yeah, I want to keep a fourth level spell slot just in case. Oh. So yeah, that's another lot of damage. Yeah, that is a lot. You see blood trickling from her nose. Ooh, dirty heretic. Uh, I will uh, also bonus action because I have one. Uh, heal. Do I have healing word? I don't have healing word. Is compel duel a bonus action? I'll compel duel her. Why not? I'm straining on spells. So remember that. Oh yeah, no, I don't. Cause yeah. I... Yeah, uh, that's that on her good. on her turn. She looks like she's about to cast a spell. I already blew my reaction. I have a it's... new reaction. Uh... Wait a second. Do you use it on her? Wait a you... second. Wait. What? Not on her turn, sorry. Her... It's not on her turn. No, 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 no. Sorry, her legendary action. She's doing a legendary. Oh. Yeah, you said uh... turn. That's fine. I was yeah, like, what? So... No, no, no. I was just trying to remember le legendary actions because I, I oftentimes forget about uh... legendary actions. I'll, 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 I'll... How many spell slots? Um. Uh... 
I'll counterspell that. No, I won't. I won't because I I need to save spell slots for other things. So I won't counterspell. I should have advantage okay. anyway. Well, so. she casts spiritual guardians around herself, and they look like basically means coming out of it that are now coming around to attack you because you happen to be within the range of her. No, that's fine. It's a fifteen spirit. foot. Does it go around walls? Uh, I believe it does. I think it does. Hold on, let me check. I think it does. I might want to check that. It's a concentration well, spell, right? range. Yep, gone straight up to ten minutes. Doesn't matter because she will lose it instantly. Uh, I think. Hopefully. I feel like it goes around walls, but that's just me. It doesn't say it does. Yeah, but if it doesn't say it does, I don't think it does. And they have to be creatures that she can see. So oh. she can't see Amina yeah. or but Lokar. She's, she's or she's fuck and sure. Sylvie. And it wouldn't affect Lokar anyway because he's an ally. But it would yeah. also affect but It's going to hit Will. Will. Mm -hmm. But if you do a wisdom, you get right. It's a save, right? There's, that's an, uh, on the yes. DC? Yeah, sure. I don't understand why the wisdom oh. saves keep, say keep showing that. Because uh, I put in spellcasting things that it, she's an... Listed as an 18th level DC 18, so I don't know why it's doing that. But so, I'm curious about one thing. Uh, well, I guess it's a save with this, but you described Notra as having like vines all over her and stuff. Yep. Right. Yep. And green crystals. Does and she, she, she part plant? Uh, technically, I guess that would count. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not an attack. I know. I'm saying. Not an attack, but I'm saying in the for yeah. anything else it is. Yeah, that's what I was getting clarification. So for. I need to make a wisdom saving throw. But yeah, Both that would that, that would yeah. Both me and Sylvie have advantage. Uh, I have to make a wisdom. Throw. Um, wait, wait, but wait. You also have advantage, by the way. Yeah, yeah, but wait, but wait, 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 wait. Uh, when a creature enters the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there, so it's when it's our turn. It's your turn now. Okay. Yeah, so it's fine. I'll, I'll oh, make no, a save it's not, it's not your turn. I make it. Uh, sorry, it's still Frack. It's not your turn yet. Von, it's Von's turn. Yeah, you just had your turn. Oh, okay. That's because yeah, that was, that yeah, was yeah, so, You just. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, this is great for me. This just means free dodge on her. I love it. Well, I'm almost dead. You have advantage on the save. So that's the thing. He doesn't need to save from anything, though. He's. Oh, he's yeah, he's not in there. Far, sorry. Far I thought. Away. I was confused with my own radius. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, I can oh. see Will's hit bar and Irk, but I can't see Vondel's. There's a lot of radius. Radii here. Radiosis, thank you very much. Radiosis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He's ready to <laughs> uh, I have no idea what to do. That potions, right? Yeah, everybody has potions. And that's bonus action to drink, I guess. Yes. Yes. Will tosses all potions of the Everyone edge. should have greater and regular. The only one who doesn't is Zominet. I have an 8d8. That's what I'm mm. chugging next turn. Uh, I died. I, like... I need to mm, perform anymore. And the greater is 44 plus 4? Yes. Well, I guess I'll drink one healing potion of greater quality. Yeah, it would be if they weren't using ninth level spells. Hey, man, a uh, point can make a difference between going down and staying up, so every little bit counts. So, what looks like he's dead? Lokar. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> I sure don't care what he's called. Uh, 
but if I got close enough, I'll get hit by the Spirit Guardian. Possibly. Yeah, can you put an uh, an aura on uh, so we know where it is? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that it wasn't visible. My bad. I thought it was. No, you're good. Because it's been up. I just I thought it wasn't visible to you guys. Oh, yeah. No. No, it's confusing too because of the uh... aura on track. So, do I. Dark zone is bad. So, will count as in the aura? Does he? Or no? What aura? The spirit guardian. guardians. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's a wisdom there. saving throw. He'll so be fine. I, it's a wisdom saving throw. If I try and go 18. here. You'll be outside of the From there. <laughs> but my path goes through it. Uh, when the creature enters. Yeah. All right. And can I hit from there? Yeah, you should be able Around to hit from there. Around the corner. Good. Taste fist! Punch! <laughs> I sure like to fist him. Don't what? <laughs> what? Oh, right. Those are thunder, not lightning. Yes. I keep uh, thinking... Not a lot of things are... Um, not a lot of things have powers against thunder. Yeah, because I keep... It's because it's sonic attack, not, not lightning yes. attack. I keep looking at it and thinking, oh, it's just, it's just light, you know, lightning damage, and that means he's fine. But no, first of all, and he collapses completely. Oh. <laughs> no, you hit him in the back well, of the I, head, and he, he drops. My second hit hits his... Yes. I don't want him coming uh, back alive. Yeah, I, I just imagine him, Elvizel, just like, stay <laughs> dead, just punching him. <laughs> That's why it's Chris Bowie. You don't punch people who are unconscious. <laughs> Fuck you, die! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's my turn. Ancient Blue Dragon is still circling around, dealing with the arch below. <laughs> Kale. Uh, Kale is going to. I guess use his action to do the 8 plus 4. That's a bonus action, it's not an action. Yeah, but I want to use my bonus action for something else, so okay. I'm going to use uh, action. Uh, I get 39 hit points back, and then I'm going to do Dread Form again, because that gives me more hit points. Uh, it's plus 8. And it's 8d4, not 8d8. Okay, I thought you said yeah. it was 8. So, all right, no, let's roll that again. 8d4, 4 plus 8. 4 plus eight. 25. There you go. I wrote it down as 88. I don't know why. And then red form is my warlock level plus 10. So that gives me another 20 hit points on top. So you surge with health. Nice. Well, no, I surge with necrotic ickiness. <clears throat> And that's my turn, because I was doing survival mode, and that's all I can do. Hmm. Wisdom saving throw. You have advantage. Oh, you made it? I will use my bonus, my reaction to do Vigic. She now just straight up, no choice, takes 2d8 plus damage. Why is the four on there? That's your improved might pop. Yeah, that shouldn't be on there. Oh, well, you succeeded. Well, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> you cast a spell, so we need to make wisdom saves every turn, and we have advantage. Oh no, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, also, Christ. concentration check. Uh, DC. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, she she might fail. Oh yeah, she might fail. Um. What? So I took. Uh... No, no. no. Uh, she... what, what is that? 
Mitchell on Rebuke, it's my oof. It's an oof thing. Anytime we succeed a Wisdom, Charisma, or Intelligence saving throw, I can use my reaction to automatically do 2d8 plus my Charisma modifier depth okay. to the creature um, who forces us to make the save. All right. There's Frog. no range limit. It nope. just you can do nothing Frog. about Frog. it. You do that. But you notice it doesn't seem to touch her. She doesn't take four steps. That's the way. Okay. I think. Uh, I told you. I thought why was magic. Uh, yeah, no. it, it, it's affected by by, by out by spells that aren't equipped on a weapon. It's not magic though. It's a class ability. It doesn't cost spell slots. It's really? a thing uh, that my god does. does. It does not it? say it's magic. Oh, you're right. It's not. Does not. Yeah. Class, it's, oh, that does hit her then. God, I was just looking at the fact that it's class says force ma damage. It's basically when someone gives you a very mean look and you're okay. physically and taken kinda, aback. It's kind of like it's kind of like Fisher's Mockery then. Got it. She needs right. a she needs a concentration save too. Concentration save. But, uh, yeah. but, oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, Hold Will. On. Hey, Will. Will has a whole. Uh, Will, Will hasn't had his turn. <laughs> All I did was roll a thing, and then I, I let him do his thing. <laughs> but All right. Do the thing, Frog. Yeah, <laughs> like, <me too. laughs> But I'm still here too, and I uh, I succeeded on my saving throw. I should take half damage of the spell still. No, you should no, take no, no damage because you're in my... No, no, you're in an aura. I take yeah. none of the damage. Yes. <laughs> Does basically... she also... Did she? Yeah, she rolled a constitution. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. All right. Cool. Circle. That 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 aura is bullshit. <laughs> All right. So if I was one level higher, he would also get a. Oh wait, you also get a plus six on your saving throw, by the way. Oh, so it's, it's mostly twenty nine. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Thanks. Cool. Well, I'm still here. Um. About that. Sometimes I don't know. <sighs> what was it? It was white and green crystals on their body, so you know, anti magic. I assume. I assume that the white crystals. Are... Yeah, green. you have enough knowledge to know Poison. that. Yeah. The kind of the whole reason why we had an issue with the attack. All uh, right, so magic crystal down there is um, hard to do something about, but it's I guess it's what about spell effects on the turn? Would that fuck her up? You know, that probably would. Because, like, I mean, uh, like sure, how, if I, I can't Frock, hit her with blight. Just like how Frock's weapon, uh, magical, uh, his magical weapon managed to hit her too, uh, because that was, you know, not a directed spell. Wait, are we saying AoE works? Oh, no, I, I'm saying is that, an a, like, certain AoE wouldn't work, but one that you, that, that, Uses the terrain, like you were saying. Like I've seen some of your 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 your, your nah, terrain bending spells that mm. would work. Like wall of fire mm. would, would, wouldn't it, wouldn't work on her, but something else would, might. Right. If you right, like, yeah. pull her into the wall or something. I can't really do that at the moment. Ask me another day. Um, <laughs> Just going through my spells again because of this. Uh, there's no one else to hit, is there? Unless I want to hit a plant. I mean, there's bullshit crystals still around, but... Yeah, but, I mean... You can in them. I mean, you got any heals? I like heals. <laughs> oh, yeah! I can do stuff like that. Forgot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Vondel, Vondel's pretty hurt from what he You're said. Pretty I'm hurt pretty hurt too, Will. Himself. I know, but I would like to just stay. Will seize the fucking potion. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. There, there, there are ce- for the note. There are ceilings here. Because uh, th- this is yeah. The, this, oh. this area is not open. I I don't have bones of the earth prepared. Otherwise, I would have done insert gift here. <laughs> How high are the ceilings? By- um, I think they're about twenty feet high. Cool. Provide Thanks. room for, for. Yeah, that's a perfect gift for that. Uh, for. Oh, uh, considering I'm, I'm five feet, I'm gonna drink a bow to heal. Uh, yeah. Do I have any heal that I mean, isn't you just you could overpowered? You could do it for Vondel. I'm I'm okay-ish. Vondel sounded like he was worse off. Maybe. I got like hit points at least. I don't know about what Vondel's got. I got back. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, uh, 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 I'm, I'm just hold on. I, I need to just which pull. I I'm drinking a greater. Uh, what that is? Uh, forty-four plus four. four. Forty-four plus four. Uh, drinking greater. Remove greater. There's greater. Go down to on. Roll forty-four plus four. Really should have a macro up. Mm-hmm. Forty-four. Uh, oh. That's like what. Max? No. Hey, 12. See you. So, uh, told you. Told it. <laughs> Worth- he kind of smacks his lip and make lips and just go like, worthless. Uh, and then he's going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. It's not great. But it's something. Also, oh, I, I, is the is roll twenty years old or? Oh, uh, lagging. I assume. Yeah. Here we go. So, uh, uh yep. Who all does that hit, and how? What kind of radius does it have? Six creatures of my is between thirty feet. So. Kale gets hit, Vondel gets hit. Uh, hold on, should, can I move I mean, before maybe? There's a point you choose within 60 feet of you as a 30 foot radius. Yeah, can you can right. hit Shuri and them and get me. I don't know if that's possible, but. I don't Shuri need could it. use some heals. But, uh, well, yeah, 30 for that. And We're 50 not, feet apart, yeah, so it should be able to hit us. Yeah, both. I can hit both of you. So, Kale, Vondel, Shiori, uh. I don't know if Frock is hurt. Uh, Frock and Sylvie have taken zero damage. Yourself Frock and Sylvie have taken zero. Uh, I can I heal myself with that? Why wouldn't you be able to? I mean, you're I a creature. A, your choice. Yeah, you're you're a creature. I am in the area, and I can choose to have it away from me. So I guess yes, I am in the area. So that's four, two more. I mean, that you hurt. Nope. Bitch. Uh, <laughs> 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 I think that's it. Yeah. Um. He. Four people get healed. Thirteen each for everyone. Okay. That means you're at fourteen now, Kale. Congratulations. <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I got thirty-nine plus twenty. I think I thought Bond was worse off than I was. I have a major I healing spell. I, I would have died from the meteor shower, not a dolphin. Oh. He is, he, he is part wizard as an artificer. <laughs> if I hadn't succeeded for, for the half damage from for the fire, I would have gone down. Uh, let's see here, movement wise. 5, 10, 15. I'll st- I'll st- he's still there. Stay, stay, stay there. Within visual range. Yeah. Visual range of the. You know what? One more there. Done. Alrighty. Eric, you're up. All right. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, hello. Um, <laughs> um. Hmm. 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 That's not gonna hit anything if I do it that way. But I would just worry about the crystal at this point. 
but I really want to use those skills. She seems <laughs> affected too much by magic. She has I a have... white crystal on her, so she's immune to magic. God. Fuck. Uh, I'll... I guess I'll typical double slashy slash at the crystal then. Ouch. Well, you have an advantage on it, so one of them hits at least. Yeah. Yeah, one of them hits, but it doesn't. And I'll, of course, give my Bardic Inspiration. And I'll give it to Brock. Right? That's, this one's Brock. Right, yeah. right. I'm getting That's names the... right. The yes. Brog? Yeah. yeah. The frontline I... goblin on a dragon. And with that, you also get the uh, note of potential as well. Hmm. You need that, just let me know, and that will end X turn since the crystal is still there for fuck's sake. Yeah. And as, and as you're watching, and you see that the body of Lokar basically is getting covered with vines at the moment and seems to be turning into a cocoon. Burn, burn him. You need to burn him. Burn it. <laughs> burn it. Uh, that was one, one more up. Yeah. Well, one square up. Thank you. <laughs> it's creeping towards you, bundle. Not a hell. Screams with fury at, uh, at the little goblin in front of her. I had finger. Oh. You heretic! And it looks. You shall be smart. And she. Keep doing this. Uh, she looks down at your dragon, Sylvie. Shouts, hey! I force her to target me. Got that mounted combat thing? Yeah. That was... You can force an attack target at your mount to target you instead, so I don't know if a spell counts as an attack. Uh, what's what's the mean it's an attack? What, what, what's... You can force an attack targeted at your mounted target to target you instead. Um... That's the work it burning on it. If it's not, uh, I'll count spell. Combat attack. Can you mm. please post? Can yeah. you please post that? Because I need to see. Because uh, that that sort of th thing is. Let's see, you're dangerous. Uh, it, if a meal, you can force an attack targeted. You meant to attack It's not a subject to an effect that allows it to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's that's after that's after that's, the, that's uh, separate from that statement. Yeah. The question is, is that how would this work with a spell? Because I can understand this when it comes to a like... A spell is an attack. Like that. A spell is an attack unless it's an AoE spell, in which case it wouldn't count as an attack, because it would hit... Because you cannot... I can't block an attack. I can't block an AoE effect, but I can block an attack. So basically I'm jumping in front of Sylvie. That's what's happening, technically speaking, in D&D &D terms. Yeah, I'm if just trying to, to go. Is where, where's where's the roll? There's like no 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 rolls. Oh, it's level sixteen. That's why. Uh, yeah. There, I mean, it's not level sixteen. It's just a thing, so you can't murder a mount. I'm just trying to because a mount has twenty HP, standard speaking. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where that would fit with power word kill because that yeah yeah, yeah that's an attack, but it's not one that gives damage. Uh, so I'm not trying to. I'm trying to figure out if that actually counts or not. I mean, power word kill does damage. It's a targeted it? attack. He is in it intercepting that targeted attack. Okay. It's a target. It has a target. One creature you can see within range. Mm -hmm. He is. He is placing himself in the line of target. I'm basically forcing you to target me instead of my mount. That's what happened. I'm, I'm picturing get... like. Brock covering the ears and some of that and like putting his head there instead. Okay. That's Much HP. Brock has awesome. way too many. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been full health. Well. So that the confusion because technically like even if Brock like stands that does in no front damage. of it, which is saying, like it doesn't it does no damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I might not be on the side of Frock here. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's, I, I would be going, okay, this is definitely but in one that where case, we, we, need, just... we need to look this up. We need to look this up and get a consensus yeah. going on there. Uh, does anyone is have this spell um, an attack or not? 
Because it, there isn't an actual roll. It's just there's something no that roll, you can there's see. There's no damage. And so, are, which yeah, is, uh, any, I don't any, think anything he Anything that causes roll or damage, which, I would understand with magic combat. Definitely. Which, this is why it, this is a big, uh, you know... In which well, case, I'll just this. press this button. I'll I just, mean, that works. Yeah. I'll just press this button. Uh... But it's a level nine, though. It's level it? nine, though, but it's what's Hold contested. On. It's nineteen. I'm trying. I'm try Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to find out if uh, if anyone else. Okay. Is power word this. spells do not require an attack roll, and thus are not attacks. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yes, so we do have a consensus that doesn't count. It, that that's the only okay. major okay. spell yep. thing that doesn't count as an attack, and therefore cannot be countered like that. Uh, uh, which means you're going to need to roll for your because okay. this is a level um, nine spell. I'm double checking, but probably won't. Uh, where is it? I cast it in the of... Uh, no, that wouldn't be effective here. Uh, my holy aura wouldn't affect this rule, I guess. Uh, so I wouldn't have advantage. So that's a 19. Oh. Uh, uh, oof. I mean, I guess I have had Wait, how much a turn so since I died, so I could try to counterspell it too. Yeah, anybody else who wants to attempt to counterspell it, please do. Uh, get in an orderly line. Uh, I'll do a fifth level counterspell. I don't know how, how, if it probably doesn't affect much. Uh, if I spent one more spell slot on Sylvie's health, then none of this would happen. What's What kind of Charisma check? Do I need to make on oh, it? Oh, I, forgot, uh, I completely forgot about check. the ball bearings on that uh, on that round. But we'll 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 finish that as soon as this happens, because that, that those those are going to finish coming crashing down. Oh yeah, that's problematic. It's only a hundred feet, but yeah. Uh, so what? Yeah. What? I just need a straight charisma. Just press charisma, yeah. Because it's a contest, oh. it's a charisma check. Uh, do you get advantage on that? I don't. I just. Uh oh! Wait, no, that. Yeah, you have to. You have to beat a nineteen. It's a level nine Vondel? spell. Uh, Vondel. Uh, what's your bonus actually? Oh no, that wouldn't have mattered. Vondel, are um, you close enough to give me flash of, in of genius or whatever that is? Because Kale just needs three more. Yeah, th 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 three more points to to. to and to... it's. It's just a check, correct? Ability check, yep. Yeah. I can do this on ability checks, so... <laughs> yeah, you succeed. <laughs> how many points No is magic this? for this you, Cat. How many, how many points is Kale It's a plus five. Get? Okay, so that's... Yeah, that's 21. <laughs> what is the 21? Nurtra is... I'll just sort of turn around and say, knock that the fuck off! <laughs> Very surprised. You was trying to take out... <laughs> take out so Why? She's I have no threat at all. So okay, many dangerous spells. Uh, so You're welcome. Major majority of ball bearings were centered around here. Uh, some of the other yeah, ball bearings. Yeah, everybody were threw at the. No, it's right here. This is the only one that Phaedra threw at. Everybody else threw at the Tarstin, I remember. Okay, so mm -hmm. I said the majority. The... It was a red one. Yeah, and over here, one fell over here. But that was like, you know, mo most of those little ball bearings will probably fall over the side. Uh, either Urk or Kale. Uh, so you guys will be potentially in the line of fire from the falling ball bearings. Uh, I would like what give me a how many ball bearings were there? How many times did you frock? Was it five hundred? I dropped two hundred. So I two hundred fifty first, like and then I five hundred. Yeah, a total of five. I think it's a total of six hundred actually. So I'm gonna go with get one of you. Give me a one d five hundred. We'll see how how many come close to you slash the tarstan. I'll let Jesse do it. Go for it. Kill me, Jesse. <laughs> Be the reason I die. <clears throat> A 1D500. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to type it. Because all of this... Oh, crap. Wow. So... Yeah, but the Tarsten takes that too. So... Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, here, here's what's ha happening. Basically, as all of this is going, going down... Uh, and the spell has, you know, completely faded away from from there. Uh, the the rain of the ball bearings finally, like having having fallen all the way up and having it on all of that, have suddenly just come f falling back down in the confusion of the last six seconds of all the, all of this going on. 
Uh, and yeah, you guys are both in the critical threat range, so Urk and Kale, give me a dexterity saving throw. That's Am I still in Frock's uh, save radius? Actually, yeah. no, I don't even get advantage. Uh, I get yes, normal because I'm yes, exhausted. You are. Yes, you are. Oh, you have exhaustion. It's yeah. a save, not a check. It's a save, not a check. Okay. That's not a magical effect. Yeah, I'm still going to fail because I have, I have a shit dex. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do that. Considering, considering I've been rolling seven nines for my deck. About time. I love that. I love that. I have as, 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 as it rains time. down, crystals start shattering left and right. Until finally, it just it seems to smack down right into the center of it. Some of it goes flying out towards you guys. Uh, I believe you guys take... Let's see, we managed to dive away as the majority comes cascading down. With the amount of damage that it would do. Uh, hmm. uh, you guys only take about 15 points of damage as the ball bearings come splashing at your legs. But they completely obliterate practically the what's what's left of the, the Tarstin um, main crystal. And it pretty, well, it's hard to tell if the, the damage that you're taking, the 18 points of damage that you're diving away from... Is from the ball bearings themselves or from the exploding crystal as it shatters behind you? And you hear a neutral screaming, uh, No! Would that not be a problem if it was part of exploding crystals? It's... That hit them instead of the ball bearings? Well, I believe both of them have current immunity from um, earlier. I have, I'm a moon to pink. Eric, what about you? <clears throat> uh, what, what are we doing with which one? Are you immune or, to any of did, the Tarstin crystals? Did, did you get uh, potentially infected or get an immunity at one point? I don't uh, think, I think we, so because I wasn't with them. We haven't uh, seen them since Lunissa was here, I think. Oh, maybe because no, uh, I've been a guy. Lunissa. We didn't see them with Lunissa. Uh, uh, I mean, also. we did see them with when we were with whatever her name was. I keep forgetting. Uh, M, M Lady. Dragon Lady we don't like. I don't think I don't Meredith. think we were ever infected not recently. Yeah. yeah, we weren't infected there or anything. Alright, so Eric, give me a constitution saving throw, please. Constitution uh, uh Hey. Seventeen. Yeah, you seem to be fine. Like you feel hot for a moment, but it it seems like your body rejects the crystal easily enough. Oh, cool. It, it's a bit warm. Did the sun get you so? Wait, so what's my target now? So, question. Now that a lot of things have happened, did a wheel get hit by the uh, ball bearings? No, the majority, the majority of ball bearings fell right in the center. That's what that rule was for. Stop trying to die, Tobias. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm just <laughs> checking. I just have resurrection ready. Are you sure there wasn't like a stray ball bearing in that? No? <laughs> no? Just Fine. Not Fine. Not Fine. Not Fine. Hey, we can deal with uh, Galen Cole. You can die after that, okay? Yeah, you, uh, you, you can die right. saving, the, saving it from Galen Cole. Let's go with that. So, Sylvie, your turn. Um, oh, as a result, this, this pile over here falls apart. So if he's gonna look very angry, uh, would she be immune to cold damage? I don't think so if it's uh, a breath weapon, right? Because it's technically speaking not magical. Correct. Yeah, she doesn't have any indication that she's immune or resistant to cold. Just poison and yeah. magic. Breath weapon attack. Oh, uh, Still takes half. Sylvie, Damn, that's a Sylvie, you also have to roll with some saving throw because you're in the range of the spirit guardians. Oh, yeah, Sylvie. Uh, wisdom save. She gets a bo Oh, she doesn't need a bonus. Uh, uh, I can't do that again, I think. No, I can't because it's a reaction. I'll do it. Yeah, Sylvie takes no damage. That's Sylvie fine. takes no damage. Yeah, she's fine. Half as much damage. Oh, except no damage from the, from the extra thing. Sorry, I forgot about that. 
Yeah. Power circle. She's just looking and Very she's powerful. like, she's casting all the spells and just nothing is happening. Yeah. Oh. Uh, don't, 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 don't fight the anti-caster paladin. That's... But yeah. Yeah. Mer Meredith l lands uh, down here with with uh, Phaedra and lets her off and can you get me closer? Fader will say. <laughs> Drops her here. Is that closer? Uh, she's got an eighty-foot fly. <laughs> I would just like to point out. Uh, she had thirty. Uh, uh, she, she she had fifty feet down, and then another. Eight, eight, ah, stupid thing! Stop trying to grab the crystal. So there is that better? It's whatever she would do. Yeah, I'm think, just pointing I think that, that out. I think, that's, I think that's the closest. And she can dash. I think that's the closest. If she she's can... not going to do anything else. I thought we... Oh, that's free action to, re to revert form. Alright. So, here. Okay. That's about as easy as she can get before she gets into the range of the spirit guardians. And she can drop you, like, right there. Can I go on the other side of her? Or there, just if you prefer. Okay. Thank you. Vidra. All right. Yeah. She's running in. 5, 10, 15, 25. Uh, wisdom save, right? 18, yeah, 18 or higher. Yeah. With advantage. Okay. With advantage. Plus 3. Just roll damage, let me know. With advantage plus three, you're okay, you don't take damage. Oh, oh. plus three. Because you're in my aura of protection. Oh, cause... I forgot! Thank you! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Man, an area of effect for filling an area like that is kind yeah. of useful. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, one level, and then everything paladins. is 30 feet, boys. <laughs> these paladins. Uh, these paladins. Uh, like how yours is good as well. <laughs> don't get to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I imagine Phaedra's running in and she's just kind of like taking her shield and just kind of bashing the spirit guardians out of the way as she goes. And she passes Notra and sees the uh, white crystals and immediately knows, okay, magic resistance. Come on, old friend. Bob will come out. Three attacks. Also advantage because we're flanking. Yep. Okay, silvered Bob with advantage. One. Two, three. The second one doesn't hit. You mean the first one doesn't? Oh, sorry, my bad. I... Yeah. Second one okay, doesn't hit. Let's use... First and third one hit. Okay, let's do some bullshit. One second. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, first one, uh, DC twenty. Um. Uh, wisdom saving throw. She's probably going to be high. Extra damage going to goad. Four extra points. All right. Well, she drops to the ground. <laughs> she had two hit, po hit points left at that point. Oh, I perfect. remember. You're allowed to keep hitting her. <laughs> yeah. So uh... mush her into a paste. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That yeah did. So She's just given, going given to the nature of like... things, uh, it is time to take away turn order. Because there's nothing else here that requires turns, because everything else is able to do without, because they can't move. <laughs> it, this do we, is do why we wanna do, uh, want to be up front. <laughs> do we want to do a lunch break now yeah. before we get into the yes. next phase of shit? Yeah, yeah cause I'm an hour over and I need it for my blood sugar. Mm -hmm. Alright. Lunch break. Cool. I'll be right back. I am running dangerously low on spells, though, guys. Uh, just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit upset. <laughs> I, I, if you, you got to do nothing but hit a crystal with a sword to hold. Yeah, I hear a crystal with a stick. You're, you're here for like the final call. It's, <sighs> yeah. I, was, I, I washed my face. I drank. Yeah. A Entire monster in less than fifteen minutes. That's not bad. Had yeah. some cones, you know, like ready. To yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm real sorry <laughs> for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And our lightning blade. Now you should just focus on the crystal. But the ball bearings. Like, it, the ball bearings are up, and then not. Ball the bearings are the MVP! Listen, listen. I even see the crystal. The ball bearings are up in the air. Do we really be hitting this rock? And you the, guys the, were like, yeah, yeah the, just hitting the this rock. She was. She was immune to spells, so even if you cast a spell on her, nothing would have happened. Uh, I don't know. I could have, like, collapsed it. I was her... aiming through this. I mean, collapse what? The wall? I mean, it's a 100 straight beam that blasts through anything that covers, what, 50 feet or some shit? Yeah, but... A uh, five foot beam that goes through five feet. So if it yeah. was, yeah, that's but she's five a... feet of a wall, basically. I mean, yeah, Taking that straight out hitting that crystal, that would have collapsed that middle thing and destroying that integrity. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I could have oh. the place. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh -huh. oh. I mean, yeah. another thing, a lightning beam at the bottom of the structure, I could just, you know, just topple it. Yeah, just but we didn't want to... No, it's a pretty, pretty sturdy structure from what Grizz said. Yeah, also, oh. like, no offense, but, like, stone is pretty, pretty uh, electric resistant, I think. Oof. But, yeah, uh, it was very, very... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try uh, help you get in some call. We could try and slay the dragon. We could slay, <laughs> try and slay the dragon in a second. <laughs> like, uh, well, we need to slay a dragon for an adventure. The dragon looks at us, but I'm your transport. <laughs> well, you can turn us into crime. <laughs> dragon starts sweating. <laughs> Yeah. This aura is very powerful, though. Whew. Spicy, spicy aura. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um, random question, but does anybody know any, like, Sims-like games? Like, Sims Sims? <laughs> there was some one. new one that was in development, but I don't think it's out yet. No, not yet, sadly. Um, there was one that was, like, super old that came around. When it came out, I think, uh, called uh, Virtual Families. But that was more like a puzzler game, rebuild sort of thing. Wasn't really much of a home builder plus item manager. Don't get me wrong, it was decent for what it was, like, a shit ton of things that you can do with the characters, but you didn't have to worry about feeding them more. that you just had to make sure that there was enough food. Some more things. But I've got the urge to, like, ruin lives, so... <laughs> It's just been one of those kind of years, start of years, I guess. Do I talk into myself by any chance? I'm just muted because the microwave message. Uh, yes, those radioactive waves. I'm back. Welcome back.
I am back. Welcome back. Oh, you might actually be able to help me with this question. So, you know the sinners, right? Of course. Um, how much do you know of, like, Sims-like games based around the same concept that? Or is there, like, no such thing besides Sims, really? There are, but none, I, I, none have been as appealing to me as the Sims. And uh, there's a couple other games that I'm just not remembering off the top of my head, but it's not as fun as The Sims. Mm. Of course, it depends on what down. part of The Sims you like best. <laughs> oh well, you know the whole live simulation, get them to have a job, and then after a while they're happy, and then once when you feel like that you've done good enough, you just it's... absolutely ruin their lives. <laughs> as far as Sims is like the only game that if you want to do city builders or. Different city builder type games, like more than just Sims. No, but but <laughs> an actual simula character simulation games. No, you're talking like individual characters uh, versus a bunch of different characters you're managing. Sims is. Yeah, I mean, there's one called Paralives. It's coming out, but it's. So I'll have a look at that. Set up. That seems interesting. Oh, that thing. Wait. Just a... Uh... It's a life sim. You build a house, make your guys. Torture them. I thought that was a uh, first-person sort of game. Because of the way how the first videos looked. When it first came oh, out, mm -hmm. walking around the town, looking at everybody doing their lives and stuff. Oh, I mean, it looks like... very Sims to me in the screenshots I'm looking at. Still looking at this, too. Not, It's not out yeah. yet. I don't know when it's coming out, but... To be announced, but you could add to your wish list. <laughs> Hated that, man. We have like this Australian that just says "meet you at the expo" and says that like five times over and over again, just with two different people saying it at different times and then together. And it's like, bruh, can I just go back to the video that I was watching? <laughs> I fucking hate world TV. Has anybody else TV? gotten into recently watching normal TV? You know, cable. Like a simple channel. Get ads constantly. No. Am, am I really that old? I don't have cable anymore. Well, You're the I'm... youngest here, my friend. I know, but nobody's responding to talking about normal TV. So, uh, what? what? <laughs> I've I know nobody now. watches it, but... Yeah, I mean, everybody's got Netflix, but I still want to um look what's on normal TV, and they've still got uh, on our uh, normal cartoon channels, we actually got, like, original Yu-Gi-Oh! playing, and the original Bacchus and Beyblades playing. And I'm like, this is actually kind of wicked. But the ads, oh my god, the ads haven't changed since I was a kid. Like, seriously. Every single ad, almost three a day, may be different. That I haven't seen since I was a kid. Anyway, I'm just going to shut up now. Anna, keep talking, otherwise I'm just going to start bringing you up Ukraine. I'm back. Ukraine. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, well, Russia, I mean, back. but, yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Mm -hmm. So who are we still... 
Seriously, ball bearings. Who would have ever thought ball bearings could destroy something like that? I, guess that's I would say... Go ahead. I don't know, finish your job. Like, you know, that's the one danger of, put, of, of putting your big the big bad up on top of uh, an open-air platform. Yeah, you know. We should, we should thank the cat lady. She did more damage to her own stuff than us. Yeah, because she, she, she didn't realize... Yeah, I'm pretty about... sure she and Lokar did more damage to the thing than, than we did. Well, she she didn't realize that the the, the see but both of them are used to you know damage the, the tipping damage absorbent and didn't real okay she didn't realize about the ball bearings so she had no way of knowing that the ball bearings were deployed and therefore that using reverse gravity would be a really bad idea. Um, Lokar, for his part, uh, assu c forgot that the Tarsten couldn't absorb the meteor thing when it was outside of white uh, out of its white light uh, form. And was just basically trying to target you guys, and ended up targeting everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna keep using this spell. Oh, I'm, I'm here, by the way, in case. Welcome back. Uh, uh, did anything develop, by the way, Who are we missing? that you brought it up? Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm reading just a bunch more bullshit. Don't worry. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm. I think we're all back, right? Because we have... So. We have Fluffy, we have Pedro, mm -hmm. we have Jesse, we have me, yep. we have Quentin. I don't can't see Will, but we have... Kale. We lost to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Who left? Tobias. So oh my god. Facing <laughs> realities again. He's been falling into the back room. Hurry, somebody. No, I like here. <laughs> oh, I like it here. <laughs> He's the one that made all the sketches. <laughs> Trying to make people run into the doors that seriously painted on. <laughs> Uh. You now stand or lay in the ruins of various crystals. Vines still snake about. Some of them start to thrash, as if blindly searching for something. The bot, the crumpled bodies of of Notra uh, and Lokar, lay about the ground, with Lokar's body half covered in leaves, and Notra's body seemingly producing them. That they're now wilting and dying on their own. Both are covered in crystals. Nurtra, white and green, that seem to be corroding and dying on their own. And Lokar, pink and blue, or seem to be under the same wilting effect. Uh, I think we should keep going down if this tower isn't going to explode, because mm. my spell lasts for another nine minutes. Yes. I'm sure you can drink a potion and she's going to find by near her. Uh, are the vines still? Oh wait, the the the, 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 the vines that you basically aren't shown on the Ow. ground. Basically, are uh, think of this entire area as being covered, and the ground is covered in vines and now ball bearings again and bits of crystal. Uh, only the tentacle ones are the ones that can actually cause damage to you. So that's the only ones I've shown. But everywhere else, inside the tower, around the tower, um, along the top, the, this tower's floor, and draped over the side, are other vines. That are now reacting as if they are searching for something. They just they're just kind of flashing, fl you know, flailing up and down. But instead of searching for prey, they seem to be searching for something else. What do you guys? Are these, do? um, are the whatever these nodes? Are they active still? They still appear to be active. There's still darkness. There's still sparks of of, of um hmm. of lightning. Hmm. That's concerning. <laughs> Yeah, that means there's a second thing. Let's go, guys. Yeah, let's go. We need to finish off these things on the roof in case they can grow back into back into something worse. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's but a very good point. Yeah, but they won't do that 
directly. Okay. Yeah. Kale's just gonna start methodically yeah. like, even though yeah. he's pretty beat up. Yeah, Mary just starts throwing. It just for itself would have been so much easier. We can still do it. The the, vi <laughs> the, the, the vines along the ground continue to flail as if searching for some, for something, kind of like undulating as if they're muscle tissue. Burn those bodies. Hey, I'm gonna do go you, in. Do you want me to roll an attack for this one, or? Nah, the, the, these things are practically helpless right now. Cool. I can heal for my hex blades first. Phaedra's gonna go after this one. Um, Amonet will help these guys down here with these. Like each of these, um, the, the the blades is basically cut through them like butter, causing them to shatter. Everything, all the rest of them, with anybody else hitting them, takes at least three big hits in order to destroy them. Oh, uh, the various tendrils, the, the various plant tendrils, uh, start is like oozing some sort of sap along the ground. Uh, here and there, you see little pieces of crystal growth that don't appear to be any particular color along them, as if they're trying to regrow something. We need um, to stop that immediately. We need fire. Uh, <clears throat> fire. Do I have easy fire? I mean, yes, I do actually. I'll explore inside a bit further. I'm gonna, it's gonna take a sample of that sap. Take a sample of the sap and then we burn. Yep. Burn it. So, yeah. I'll, I'll also take a sample just because I can. <laughs> and then I'll. Use some alchemist fire to get rid of whatever they're trying to do. All right. So while the fire starts burning up some of the, some of the tendrils and some of them fall off the side, uh, you do see that after a while the entire bits of tendril where you're casting the fire crystallize, harden, and don't seem to be uh, don't don't seem to be melting or burning anymore. <clears throat> uh, the the crystals to start to start to dissolve it. after they've been disconnected from the from the plants, except for those things. Oh, we have the, to... the plant parts that have crystallized. Uh, basically, uh, basically, as you wander around, you see more tendrils, uh, um, and occasionally whack apart other crystals that that you find. Uh, but the only time you find like any pathway, any, like um, steps, appears to be over here. Actually, no, over here and over here. Uh, but there's like complete the stairway is completely chock Ugh. full of of uh, of um, vines at this point, as they're undulating, yeah. preventing movement down. I'm gonna drink another potion. You said the archers were shooting from the sides of the tower, right? Yeah, and you no longer hear screaming. It looks like the dragon is taking care of them. If the archers were shooting from the side of the tower, I will fly down the side and try to get in one of the places they were shooting from. Thank you. Okay. What are the rest of you guys doing? Amonet's gonna extend two hands, one towards uh, Notra, one towards the corpse of uh, um, uh, Lokar, and she's gonna create to so two soul trinkets. It doesn't seem to work. To turn oh. Ooh, that's not good. Interesting. So, no souls. Got it. Oh, did they dead. Did they say simulacrum? No, they're not simulacrums. And they do appear to be dead, but if they had souls, they are not accessible. Interesting. This right. wasn't the primary thing. They're, they're in the Tarstin. Let's get moving, do, do, then. Do, do, do. Uh, Will is just going to boop Kale with the Void Stone. That cure the exhaustion, at least? Yeah, great the restoration, clears the exhaustion. <laughs> you look tired. Bop. You look tired. Smack! <laughs> Stop it! So, Frog, from what you're seeing is, from lower levels, there seem to be extreme uh, plant growth. Just like just like our tentacles of plants are like sticking now out of uh, of the areas where the archers had been standing. It looked it looks as if uh, whatever people were in here are now being converted life to, or something along those lines. 
Do there and seem to be any crystals? You're not seeing some parts are turning crystallized, you know, crystallizing it in sections. That you don't see any active crystals from what you from what you're looking at. Do they seem to be growing from the bottom up or from the from up down? Roll nature. Do they seem okay? Sylvie will help me. <laughs> To see which green the vines are growing. Uh, da, 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 nature, I'm pretty bad at that. But I have advantage because Sylvie is cool. You can't really tell. It's almost as if the plants are simply growing together. Like they're, they're on like a horizontal plane and just growing, reaching out and growing, attaching to each other and growing exponentially either direction. So I wouldn't be able to guess where the origin is That doesn't from, seem like, to be away. an origin point, is what I'm trying to say. It's as if there's just an overgrowth of whatever was already here because they're lacking some central nervous system. Do they seem to be dying? Uh, no, they, they, but they appear... They're, they're the equivalent of running around, like a chicken running around without its head, with its head cut off. Sort of, so, sort of dying. Yes and no. Like a cockroach. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Head. Head. So, but, but, but something dying. Still, something still alive, but its central nervous system doesn't seem to be there, and therefore what's left is running on impulse. The question is, do we need to deal with this, or can we get out? Uh, if only we could pour lava down this building. Uh, uh, I mean, I could turn into an adult red dragon and just hit the tower with fire a whole breath a whole bunch. You could. Wouldn't be too bad of an idea. I've seen an adult red dragon before. I think I can do that. <clears throat> um, the there is the fact that uh, when uh, one of your number Vondel was using fire on on things, that eventually, even though it st killed some of it, it did start crystallizing more bits. So fire m fire will temporarily work, but might not fully. Anything. I will just start hitting everything. I'm gonna hit everything on this tree, tree tower. Hale is gonna start decisions. limping his way inside to like look and see if there's a yeah. way down. And if if any vines come up, he's just gonna hack them with the with the blade. Uh, Phaedra's gonna reach in the bag of holding <clears> and <throat> she's gonna hand some. Sure. Oh, what about that fucking mummy guy that's in the bag? We oh. forgot about him! <laughs> we'll pull him hey, out. Hey, buddy, we'll Lokar's dead. We'll pull him out. Hey, the, pull, the guy's pull, dead. Pull, you'll, deal you'll with the, like, no, 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 the vine. No, 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 no. You pull him out and discover it's just a mummy now because Lokar's got dead. <laughs> He, 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 oh, he's basically, his, his, uh, his, his mummy existence only pr predicated on Lokar being alive, and so he was- We could save him as a present for Varen. Oh. <laughs> we can! We can! Here, Varen, I know you like this kind of shit. We got a souvenir, here you go. <laughs> but we, we have more presents than Varen. <laughs> He'll tell her to keep the greater healing potion for himself. Okay, so here's a question for you. How long are you guys going to spend trying to whack slash burn at the tentacles of, of plant life in this building? I mean, if I mean, they continue to seem like a threat, we're going to take care of it because we're not yeah, going to risk but I mean, this how, thing how, coming how, back. How, how long are you just going to be doing using this as your as your thing? Are you just going to spend the rest of the day hacking and slicing and just... And gone until okay. we think the threat is gone. Yeah, as far as we know, this is all there is to it. Yeah. We'd have, uh, I tried to find if there was a source of this thing. Rolled a 19, re didn't they, find they, it, like the, so... They okay. could have been trying to regrow the task. We don't know if the threat's over, yeah. unless I can make an arcane 
check or something that would tell us. Yeah, this is just. Yeah, I'm, 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 well, I'm also out. just asking what your pl what, what your plans are and how long you're going to stay oh, on can, it. Oh, that, that's that's all. Kale's going to ask the sword. Kale's going to ask the sword. Do you think this thing is dying? All right. Is this still a threat? Uh, you said you were going to do an arcane check on it. Well, I'm the sword. Okay. Uh, the sword thinks that it is stopped temporarily, but eventually, like, possibly hundreds of years, like, not necessarily your problem, sort of, actually, it would still be Kale's type problem, because he, you know, pretty much immortal, uh, <laughs> that it would basically take a long time for it to reconstitute, and it, and, because it took hundreds so of years to get, yeah, we're not, we're not even, hundreds of years So we haven't to ended the threat yet. Yes. No. Okay, well, we'll and stay And do I here. believe it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think this is going to come in a few generations okay. and fuck people over again. Uh, we need to deal with this now. So everyone's going... <laughs> is, is, so just, just to rephrase where everyone's going, everyone's going down into this um, into, into this building to slowly make their way through cutting, the, you know, cu cutting hacking, slicing, we're, burning at the ton of... We're going to we're gonna destroy everything here so yeah, that there's that, no that, problem that, anymore. That's that is what all of us are doing. Okay, but that's how you're doing it. You're going inside the building. No one's staying up on the roof. The dragon. The blue dragon is there. No, nope, we'll the blue, tell the blue it. dragon If is... something's wrong, the blue, roar and we'll come to you. The blue dragon it. has flown off to parts unknown. I'm going to freeze him and squeak and leave him up there. Problem. All right, if you okay. stay. I'll leave squeak on the roof yeah. to uh, do you want help mentally come. 